Hey guys, what's up? This is Blake with SmartHomeSD.com. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your first Z-Wave home automation system using the Vera Lite. This is manufactured by Mikasa Verde. They've got two other systems, but I bet 99% of you will choose to use this one. One, because you already have a Wi-Fi router in place, and two, at its price point at $179.99. A couple other reasons I like to use this one over any other home automation system is because you don't have a monthly contract like the 2 gig or the ADT Pulse system and it's expandability. There's an app store, it's awesome. You can download any type of app um, that's being developed right now and use it on this device. So there's always something new. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up this, a dimmer switch, and the quick set deadbolt. So here's an up close to the Vera light. You can see it has four LED lights, three buttons, one recessed reset switch, on the back side you have a USB, Ethernet, and power input. Um, on the bottom you have a battery pack, and that's used for going around the house adding Z-Wave devices. Um, the next part of the setup is to plug this directly into your wireless router, or if you have a switch like I do, my whole house is wired, so I just plug it right in here. And then we're going to plug in our power and we'll see these lights blink a couple times. We want to wait about two minutes until three lights are uh, on solid. And then we can go over to our desktop and complete the setup process. So I'm sitting down at my computer now. You can see I'm on a Mac. You can be on a Windows or Linux machine, doesn't matter. We're logging into this thing just like we would with our Wi-Fi router. Um, so let's go to our web browser here. I'm gonna enlarge it so everyone can see and we are going to navigate to mikasaverde.com forward slash setup. On this page, um, it's telling us are all three lights lit up. If they are, we can proceed. If not, there's a little button down here to get some help. Mine are all lit up, so I'm going to press continue. This next page is all about firmware. If the firmware is up to date, you won't have to do anything. If it needs to be upgraded, there will be a little button right here. It takes about 10 minutes. It will refresh, and as soon as it refreshes, your, your uh, firmware is up to date, and you can connect to it directly. Um, so we're going to press this link right here. We're good to go. And boom, here is our user interface. A um, couple ways to log in. One is through IP address, which um, this is just the, the standard IP for right now. Uh, we can change that at a later time. That's out of the realm of this video right now. Um, another thing we want to look at is the date and time to make sure that it's it's pretty spot on Monday. It's a minute off, no worries. But this is getting information straight from Google. Um, if we're not seeing that, then we're having issues connecting to the internet, um, and we might need to set up one other thing later on. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. Um, the easiest way to log into this is to go ahead and register. Uh, put your username, password that you would like. Go ahead and register through Mikasa Verde, and we're going to log on. Um, you can do this right on your phone, and this is the easiest way to get in contact with your Vera Lite. So let me uh, log in here. And here we are. This is where all the magic happens on your machine. You can see on the top left right here, it has the machine number and the IP address for that machine. If you had multiple, they would all show up right here. You have dashboard, devices, automation, apps, account, energy setup. Let's start at the setup tab. Um, and today we're going to add a kitchen light. A dimmer switch so I'm gonna add the kitchen that's one room and I'm gonna add the garage door but I'm just gonna call it garage and we're gonna add that one and um, here's a couple more settings that you really don't need to get into for our basic setup but I'm gonna show you one one right now and that's just location if you weren't connected directly into the internet you'd have to update this information but um, this machine knows where I'm at. It's getting information from Google, so I'm good to go. When you change different settings, you want to make sure that you always save. Um, it's on the top right-hand corner, so it says unit is busy. It'll save fairly quickly. I'll just go ahead and continue. 
Um, as we keep going through the settings, none of these you really need to worry about. Um, one more that we should set up is unit setting. And this is the name that you're going to call your device. So when you're on your phone and you have an app or something like that, this is the device name that you're looking for. I'm going to call it Blake Vera Light, just for right now. And I'm going to save that. A um, couple of the other features in here, energy is an app. Um, we'll go over that in a later video. Your account, this is just you know basic account information where you want your alerts to go to. Um, the different apps, like I said, this thing has an app store. So you can click on install apps and there's, there's tons of apps being updated daily. Pretty neat. Automation, this is where uh, your scenes, triggers, and schedules are. So say you want, right when you open up the garage door, you put in your pin, you want the kitchen light to come on. Well, you can do that through a scene um, slash trigger. Or if you want the lock on the garage to lock every night at, at 10 p.m., that would be under schedule. Um, devices, you can see that I have, uh, I've added the door lock. I'm going to remove it um, and then re-add it just for the purpose of this video. Um, and you can see all the different uh, sensors and cameras, all the different things you can uh, add onto this thing. Um, so that's it as far as the web uh, portion goes. We're set up. We're ready to go. Um, I'm going to log off now. And I'm going to show you how to set up the dimmer switch and the door lock. All right, guys. So we went mobile with the Vera. Um, Mikasa Verde recommends that you remove devices before you add them. I know that sounds really backwards, but what they're saying is if your device was used, new, um, or in a prior Z-Wave network, you need to clear all those settings first. So I'm going to show you how to do that first, and then I'm going to go ahead and add them. Um, the very first thing you need to do is press the power button. Hold it down for about two seconds. Um, you'll see the blue light start blinking and we're waiting for the blue light to go solid and the orange light to start blinking. This takes about a minute. Alright, so here we go. Our blue light solid, our orange light is starting to blink. Um, now, watch carefully because this can get a little confusing. What we want to do is press the minus button. We're removing. So we hold down the minus button for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five let go you'll start to see this light change its blink pattern this is good and to remove this device all we're going to do is press down or up it doesn't matter we're just activating the device so as soon as I press it you'll see the light blink faster and then go back to its pattern and you'll also see on uh, I don't know if you can see it through the camera but you'll also see an LED um, starting to blink. That means this thing is unpaired, um, it's factory reset, and we're good to go. We're going to go do this to the uh, quick set lock, and then we're going to go back through and add them all. Now we're inside my garage. Um, this is the inside of the door. This is the quick set deadbolt lock. Um, and to go ahead and reset this one, we're going to do the same thing here. I already have it blinking, so we don't need to turn it on or anything. And we're going to press the, uh, the Z-Wave button. And again, you saw it blink. It is now removed. Alright, so now that we went through and we wiped out all the devices, their prior networks, or if they were used or brand new, we did the recommendation by the manufacturer. We're going to go ahead and add them. Um, and what we need to do is go ahead and press the Add button. Hold it for about a second. If you hold it too long, it'll shut it off. And you'll see the blink pattern start to change. Um, some of these devices are a little bit finickier than others. And Quickset actually calls for um, about three feet back. So we're going to move back here a little bit. And we're just going to press the Z-Wave button again on the lock. So let me see if I can get both angles here. We're just going to press it once. And you'll notice the light on the Vera light 
has gone off. It takes about 5-10 seconds for them to transfer information. These locks are encrypted so it's a little bit more information um, but as you can see the blinking pattern went back and we are good to go. So now we're going to leave the Vera on and we're going to go right over to the kitchen light and we're going to add that. Back into the kitchen um, again I'm in the add mode I haven't turned it off um, you can add as many devices as you want as you go around the house um, but they recommend only doing one or two at a time that way uh, you know what you've added and what you haven't and you can recall especially if you're doing a lot of different switches it's easier um, again you can see this is in pairing mode all I'm going to do is press one button and you can see it's been added so now I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in like I did before Ethernet power wait about two minutes log back on on the Vera and we should be good to go. We're back on the computer. Um, we're going to go to our web browser and we are going to navigate to our Vera. Depending on where yours is, mine is at 192.168.0.100. Um, you would have known the difference at the beginning of setup. It might give you a different IP address. So just keep that in mind. Um, that it would be the same IP address as that. So let's go ahead and log in here. This is uh, my preferred way of logging in locally. And we can go to devices now. And right now you see the two devices that we added pop up. Now you can also see if you um, added more than one dimmable light or more than one quick set, you can get them really confused. That's why the manufacturer only recommends adding one or two devices at a time because you get the generic names. But we're going to change that. Let's go to the light first. Let's go up top here. And we're going to go kitchen light. And we are going to change this room to kitchen. Um, there's different settings in here. Uh, nothing too important. And if you don't know what it does, do not click on it. Um, you can mess some things up, but I will show you more in detail of what these things do in later videos. So we'll exit out of here, and we can press save. Make sure you're saving your work as you go, or else these names will revert back to the generic names. And let's go to quick set door lock settings, and we're going to change this to uh, garage. Garage door lock room garage and you can see how the settings change a little different depending on the device because of it's a because it's a lock we can go to pin codes and let's just make a generic pin right now and let's do settings one 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 and we'll do set All right, so over here you'll see transmission was okay. Um, if you're having any issues over here, or any red, that could mean that your your lock was not set up properly, or it could mean that your Vera light is too far away. Mine, I have an outside garage, and uh, it's it's easily a hundred feet away, um, and transmission is okay, obviously. So um, it's working for me. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. So those two devices are now set up. We can go log on to Mikasa Verde online through our iPhone. That's what we're going to do next. And I'll show you how to remote control these from your iPhone. All right, guys, we're at the kitchen. Um, if you can look, yep, it's under construction right now. That's why I'm able to uh, do all this cool Z-Wave stuff. But let's get started with the iPhone app. Um, this is a free app. It's called Vera Mobile. Uh, I, I like it because it's free. Um, there's a lot of different apps out there. I'll be doing more reviews on it. But to get you guys started and, and just in the game of Z-Wave, this is a perfect app for you. And you can see right up top, that's Kitchen Light right there. And because we're on a local network, it's going to happen instantly. Um, whereas if we were abroad, we would still be able to have this functionality 
but it would probably take between five and ten seconds ten seconds for it to work um, but since we're home locally it, it comes on and off um, pretty much instantly so it's it's pretty neat you, you know you can change the dimness because it is a dimmer light and perfect we just set up our kitchen z-wave lights okay guys let's finish this up we're at the garage door um, you can see it's unlocked right now so I'm gonna go ahead and lock it and I'm gonna put in my pin that I put in Vera one 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 bingo it's open now let's go ahead and keep it like it is and I will show you the iPhone app and right up top when I have my garage door I'm just gonna go ahead and press this button right here and there you have it um, now I can unlock it again it's showing that it's locked I can unlock it one of the things you have to realize though is this is a battery operated lock so unlocking locking unlocking locking doesn't work instantly like the light does um, that's just one of the things that that these locks won't do but if you wait you know a couple seconds in between locking um, we can go ahead and unlock it and there you have it if you guys have any questions um, feel uh, feel free to email me um, I enjoy doing this kind of stuff so have a good one. Thanks for watching.